Becky Thorson joining me, Jen Johnson-Ross, Community Development Manager with the Iowa Great Lakes Association, as we kick off our new series called Did You Know? And Jen, our topic today, Burr Oak Blight. The Iowa Great Lakes Association, we've talked a lot in recent years about zebra mussels and Asian carp. Much like that, the Burr Oak Blight is a threat here in the Iowa Great Lakes. And Burr Oak Blight is affecting not only the landscape and the aesthetics of the Iowa Great Lakes, but it also affects your property value. These trees are being infected by a fungus that is constantly concentrated primarily in Iowa and southwest Minnesota. If you drive along Lakeshore Drive, you'll see, you know, at Pikes Point, all those leaves have been brown for months, and more than likely that is burr oak blight. The impacts, as you started to mention, you know, are tremendous because not only can it kill the tree, but then it's also the acorns for the squirrels and other creatures that live there. That tree provides food to wildlife in the area. It also provides shade to help keep your utility bills down in the summer months. When you think about the Iowa Great Lakes and you think about those trees that just surround the area, you lose those, what do you have? You can visit iagreatlakes.org. We have done extensive research about burr oak blight. The best time to treat is in the spring. However, there are fall treatment options. We uh, have a list of fast growing trees that you can plant. You know, the Iowa Great Lakes Association has been in existence since 2008, and we've really had our finger on the pulse of a lot of topics that affect all Dickinson County residents. We would love for you to become a member because there's power in numbers, and we want to protect these Iowa Great Lakes for generations to come. So we encourage you to visit iagreatlakes.org and become a member today.